Hello again, welcome back to another Feed Scroll Generator video for Autodesk Inventor. This time we're looking at a feature that was added to the app in January 2018, and it's actually the ability to create shafts for bottles like the one we see in front of us here, where the bottle's wider at the top than the bottom, or wider at the bottom than the top. There's some kind of taper in the bottle shape. It's not constant across its height. So let's head over to Inventor and see how we can use the new feature in the app to do this. I'm going to hit generate and I'm going to just look at the current shape of the bottle. That's fine, but I'm going to uh, hit edit bottle shape and make it, in this case, just a simple circle. So I'm going to delete this and draw myself a circle here. Let's make this 70 millimeters. And let's finish the sketch and hit accept and hit generate to regenerate the bottle shape. Okay, but I want to add some taper to the bottle, so I can't do it inside the form here. I have to hit close, and then I have to make the bottle visible by right-clicking it up here, and then use the normal inventor features to add a taper to the bottle shape. Now I'm going to use the draft tool to do this, and I'm simply going to define the pull direction and pick the face I want to draft, and maybe the draft angle as well. Let's make that five degrees and say OK to that. Okay, so we've got quite a decent draft on this uh, bottle shape now. Um, let's start the tool again. Hit Generate and OK. And we're going to need a bit of a bigger pitch here on the bottle, otherwise we're not going to be able to fit two bottles side by side there. So let's make the start pitch maybe 110. Let's make the end pitch maybe 220. And I might need the bottle, uh, the shaft OD to be slightly larger as well. So let's maybe make that uh, 170 and here let's make this 170 as well. Okay, it looks like I am actually going to need a slightly larger pitch at the start in order to be able to fit the bottles in side by side and maybe a slightly longer shaft as well. Okay, uh, now the first important thing I need to do if I've got a bottle taper is to go to the options dialog here and to tell the app that I've got a tapered bottle. We never tick this tick box unless the bottle is actually tapered because there's some different functions that need to run specifically for tapered bottles. Okay, so having done that, I can head back to the main form. The second important thing I need to do is to make sure that the accuracy of the shaft is set reasonably high. So as long as it's sort of above half, then uh, this should be enough accuracy to succeed with a tapered bottle. So I'm just going to put it up up here, maybe. That'll be fine. It doesn't need to be too high. Then we can choose our normal settings for bottle complexity. So this is the simplest kind of bottle you can have. So I'm going to put the slider all the way down here. Now I could generate a preview build, but I'm feeling confident about this. So I'm going to hit smooth build and create the, um, create the shaft in one go here. So let's just call this demo A, and let's hit generate. Okay, so as usual, the uh, the app's calculating the uh, construction geometry for this part. You can see it's got quite a lot of processing to do. In this case, uh, it's about eight, seven and a half, eight percent done now. So I'll speed this video up while it's generating, and we'll see what kind of interesting uh, surfaces it creates. So even while this is generating here, we can see that the shape of the surfaces is somewhat unusual because of the taper we've introduced on the bottle. This uh, profile here is slightly skewed as a result, and we'll see this uh, when we do a simulation in a moment. Okay, we can see this shaft's been created in about um, five minutes here. If I hit OK, and just take a look at the geometry. Geometry looks slightly strange, but when we run a simulation on it, we'll see how this uh, this actually works. So let's uh, hit simulate and OK to save the file. And let's uh, start placing some bottles. Well, first thing I can see is that these bottles actually hit, so I might want to trim these bottles um, 
in the uh, in the vertical direction. That's um, that's something I can do at a later point. Let's uh, continue this simulation here. Okay, so the important thing here is how do, does the profile of these bottles compare with the profile of the shaft? The best way to check that is actually to run a uh, a section through there. So let me save off this assembly in its current position using this save tool in the app. And we've now got a standalone assembly. So I'm going to use the section tool here to drag myself a section down through the part. Now I'm looking to see how closely the profile of the bottles matches the profile of the shaft here. So let's drag that down. We should be able to see the, the bottle roll along the shaft profile as we go. So it rolls along there. Let's move this so we can see. Okay, so hopefully you can see that we match the bottle and the shaft profile all the way down as the bottle gets larger and smaller. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I want to show you as well um, the kinds of other tapered shafts, uh, tapered bottles that we can use to create shafts using this new addition to the app. Thanks a lot for watching.